Hello, and this is the information you need to begin the My Documentary Photography Project. The um, work is already in the Google Classroom. The first thing you'll notice is that under the semester two, week seven, which is this week, um, there are the slides like we have normal, and then there's also the final choices, and this is a Google form you're gonna fill out. We'll talk more about that. Now at the top of the stream here in the classwork is something called My Documentary Photography Project. This one is assigned to you. It is your, um, has your name on it. You get to edit it. And then here's the one that says teacher. So this is my version <clears throat> and I'm going to um, edit mine. So you have an example. I'm gonna go ahead and open mine so we can take a look at it. And I will go through it with you. All right, so first thing you're gonna do on yours is to put your name in here so you know that this is your um, project. Next, here are the photo plan instructions. So this is our plan. This is what we're doing the very first day of this assignment. So the first thing you wanna do is ask yourself, what would you most like to photograph? Think of things that you like. You're gonna write down these ideas as they come to you. As you start, don't restrict yourself. Just jot down whatever comes to mind, giving no thought to whether or not it's practical. So if you love BMX biking, then uh, then say, I would love to photograph BMX bikers. If you love um, anime, maybe you want to say, I would love to photograph cosplayers. Um, if you love baseball, maybe you'd love to photograph a baseball game. So whatever you would love to do without any restrictions. And then don't choose something you think that will be easy, though. So don't choose, I'm going to take pictures at home just because you don't want to talk to people or just because you don't want it to be difficult to take your, you know, to take a camera to the baseball park. Being challenged is good for you, especially for this assignment. And then you're going to list all of your ideas on the next slide. Any idea, it doesn't matter if it's practical or not. I want to, you know, BMX bikers. I want to photograph scooters. I want to photograph, um, people doing everyday life at Costco, whatever your ideas are. So you're going to fill this in. And then in your plan, you're going to narrow it down because you're eventually going to only have to choose one. So first you want to review your list and look for the realistic options. But you also want to discuss this with an adult if you need permission to leave your home. So what you want to do is you want to have a conversation about all of your ideas. So sometimes if you wrote down, I want to photograph BMX riders. You might have a conversation with the grown up that you're at home with this week. Um, and they might say, you know, we're actually going to a park that has a um, BMX uh, bike, you know, place there. Like, would, you know, that sounds like a good idea. So you never know. So have this discussion with the people um, that are going to be planning your week um, because we want to take pictures between today, the 8th. Um, all the way to the 14th, which is Sunday. So we have seven full days, Monday all the way to Sunday. So you have this weekend. So I don't know what's happening this weekend, but you probably have a grown up in your life that plans your weekend for you. So talk to them. They might say they're running errands. They might say they're going to Costco. They might go someplace where there's a birthday party. So you might have some opportunities that you weren't aware of. And then some things you should talk to them about are, are you walking or do you need a ride? Are you allowed to go here? Do you need someone older to go with you? That's a plan you might have to make. And then can you go when it's daylight? So this is also really important. You don't want to take pictures at nighttime. It's very frustrating. They don't turn out well. Um, and I want you guys to be successful in the assignment. And then at the very end of this, you're going to narrow down your list to two ideas. And you're going to write them in the assignment 35 Google form. So you're going to find that in your Google Classroom, Google Classroom. And so here under semester two, week seven, it says final two choices for my documentary photography. Um, and then there's your form. This is third period. So there's a little number three in front of it. And in the form, you're going to answer the questions, my name, my last name, my first final choices, my second final choices. Now these are required and there's an optional if you wanna add any comments to share with Mrs. Brown. So anything else you need to tell me. So that is the official um, first assignment that uh, first part of this assignment that you need to do. 
Now I'm going to continue showing the rest of the slide presentation so you know, just in case you are taking photos Monday or Tuesday. Um, here's what we're going to be doing. Your first thing you're going to do is take at least 20 pictures. I would probably take 50 pictures, if not more. Um, and then you're going to put 20 of your best photos on this slide. So this little white box is about the size of the photo you are going to have to give. So um, your photos are going to be tiny. They're about this size, and you're going to put all 20 of them on this page. Now, this page is what they would call a contact page in the photography world. And this is where people make decisions about the photos that they might be using, that they want to either enlarge or edit to make look better. So you take this page of 20, um, and we're going to look over them together in class. And then you're going to decide on your five, five best photos. These are the five best photos that you are going to edit and then turn in for this assignment. So you're going to put the five, you can literally just copy them from here, paste them here and make them bigger. So you'll have five photos here. And that's gonna be the end of that part of the assignment. Now, we are going to edit these five photos starting on Monday, March 15th. So March 15th, I'm gonna start teaching you how to edit. Um, as you edit the photos, you're going to put the photos onto these slides. So this slide right here has one photo. This is photo number one, photo two, three, four, and five. So these are five different slides. Each photo is gonna get its own slide. And this picture is gonna be your edited picture. So these are gonna be your final five beautiful photos. Now there's a little bit of information you have to have for each of these final photos. First, you want to answer the question, how was it edited? Now, I'm going to teach you two things in editing this time. You're only going to learn how to make it black and white, and you're going to learn how to crop the size. Now, if you know how to do other stuff, then you can enter, you can write whatever your editing technique was here. Um, but for most students, it's going to be either turning it black and white or cropping the size. Next, you're going to tell me the location, um, city and state, if you go somewhere wild. But for most of us, it's going to be something like my house, the park down the street, Target, my dance studio, my brother's soccer game, etc. Also, you want to add the date it was taken. Most of these might have the same date, and that's totally fine. Actually, they should have the same date. Um, next, the subject of the photo. So that's what did you take a picture of? So in the photo, it could be my sister, a neighbor, Dylan, my coach, Joe Bob Smith, an employee at Target. The subject could also be a bicycle. Um, a garbage can, whatever happened to be um, that photo. So like you could have just zoomed in um, maybe uh, at the shopping cart at Target. So for this, it could say a shopping cart. Or if it's your brother playing baseball, it might be his glove and or the ball he's throwing. So the subject could be either a person or a thing. And then the photographer notes are just a little tidbit to give us more information. So the employee was falling from the ladder while stocking shelves. Or if your brother is laying in the dirt crying, we don't understand what's happening. You can tell us he's sliding home to win the baseball game. And then we'll understand more. Or she's trying a back handspring or she's watching home alone. Um, so then we could see somebody sitting on the couch eating popcorn. We don't really get it. We can tell us she's watching a movie. Um, so you're going to tell us and then you're going to fill that out for each of these. Now, this is not due for two weeks. So there's no rush. What you need to do though for right now, for the first part of the assignment is your photo plan, your ideas, have a conversation with the grown up that's leading your life um, from the 8th to the 14th. And then you're going to narrow it down to your two final choices and put it into the Google form and turn that Google form in. That is your the first part of this assignment. Um, this is going to be for March 8th, 9th, uh, and 10th. Then the 11th and 12th, we are going to be working on taking the pictures. Uh, we're going to come back together on Monday and Tuesday, the 15th and 16th of March. And that's when we're going to start editing the photos. Okay. So you want to do your photo, take your photos between the 8th and the 14th. If you have any other questions, you know, you can always email me. Have a great day.